YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Today, we're drawing a slot. I got my two helpers helping me today. All right, hello, everybody, and welcome to today's drawing. Today, I've got a full cast here. We've got Little Mister and Little Miss, but they're going to help me draw. Uh, today, I was thinking about drawing... A red slot. A red slot. All right, so we got the red slot right here. All right, so I'm going to go a little bit quicker this time because it's late and little people's got bedtime, so we're going to have to figure that out. All right, so I'm going to go right into here, into the sketch wallet, instead of drawing the preliminaries. Mr. Little Man over here, you know a little bit about the red slot. You painted one. You excited to draw two? All right. So I tend to skip a page because it bleeds a little bit through. I go to a blank spread. Let's see if I can draw with a microphone sitting right in my face. All right, so first, let's get some shapes in there. So let's look at this red slot. So he's somewhat humanoid and reptilian looking. So we've got like a wide face, an interesting like body shape, and then he's got these joints. Those are like fun to draw. Do those look like fun to draw, buddy? All right. So let's look at that. Let's get the layout down. So I think I'm gonna go pretty similar to that pose. Maybe make him, maybe think we should make him happy, angry, or sad. I think I'll make him a little excited. Do him happy? All right, so draw him happy. So first we'll start with the uh, line of action. So we got the top and the bottom. And for proportions, I'm gonna push them like I did the Sturge. So I'll push, let's see. I think I'm gonna push his head really big. So I'll make it like, a third of the body and then I'm gonna push his torso small and I'm gonna really long legs and hands because I think those I think those look pretty neat all right so we'll start with the head shape so we'll give him a really big head shape all right and then you wanted to make him happy right bud right, so make him happy angry We'll give him a big old toothy smile. And then give him angry eyes. You're all yeah, sister agrees with the angry eyes. Sister definitely agrees with the angry eyes, and he's gonna have teeth. But we're not gonna worry about those details. Those will come in when we go into the inky. Alright, so looking at the body, so I'm gonna make his body a little smaller. But we're gonna keep a similar shape. And then for the legs, we'll have some fun with these shapes. So we'll go, like, kind of like froggy. This is, these slots look very frog-like. So actually, I'm kind of pushing his proportions back to that of a normal frog, maybe. So this little demon frog. It doesn't look like a red slot. Is it because he's not red? No? Why does it not look like a red slot? I need to outline them. Okay, well, I'll get there. Right now, I'm just playing with the shapes. I kind of I kind of have them do like a, a hunched pose. Okay, now what I'm going to do... So the claws are an important part, so... Those are going to take up a lot of space. So I'll finish with just a, some basic shapes. For the feet, we'll get into those claws. They might need some more designing. Okay, so now for the claws, kind of ran myself out of space, but we'll do like kind of like a jazz hands creep sort of thing going here. And this side. Oh, and fun fact about slots is they have different numbers of toes on each foot. So this one has three toes, and this one over here has four. Because they're chaotic creatures. Got that from a painting video me and Little Man watched. And then he painted a slot all by himself. Did a really good job. Alright, so that's, that's some good forms. Does that look like a slot yet? But No, it doesn't. Alright, well, hopefully... Hopefully, Daddy can figure out how to make it look like a slot when I start inking it. Alright, so I'm going to move the monster manual out of the way. So now we're going to ink the slot. Alright, so we're going to start it on the face. 
So he's a he's a happy angry, we decided. Okay. So let's start with this line. We'll go in and give him kind of a beady face. A hungry face. Right. We'll find a little bit more of the eyebrow. Daddy's drawing. We got the other eye. Yeah, Daddy's talking to the microphone. Kind of clean, kind of messy. He's kind of clean, kind of messy. His teeth. Oh, okay. Well, Daddy kind of put this eyeball off to the side a bit too much. Nope, nope, that's I think that's that. fine. It's just he's got a really wide face. So me, I, I wanted to put the eye over here. No, but I, I shouldn't have because that's not where his eye goes. Chaotic creatures. Is the top a little lighter with the sun on it? Oh, yeah, maybe. So starting to come out. Alright, so he's got kind of a, a snout right here. And now we're gonna do the, yeah. the happy smile. No? These critics are harsh here. Oh, so much better. Do you wanna show everybody? No. No, not yet? Okay, not until not until it's done! Not that until guy. it's done. That guy's? That guy's? That guy. no. There we go. Big old smile. Alright, so he's going to have some teeth that in there. Guy. That guy. So he has some messed up teeth. That's what you think? Oh, okay. Well, Daddy's not coloring yet, but when I color... Well, look at that. Right now, Daddy's just making them a little... That does not look good. No? That's oh, yeah, yours is much better. So look at... Harsh. Harsh critics. Harsher than art school. Alright, there we go. This face is coming together. That's okay. That's an okay face. Hello. Oh, thank you. Keep drawing on yours. Okay, so yeah. now... Yeah. Yeah. Finish coloring on the drawing you have. You're all done with that one? There we go. All right, so the head's done. So I think the next thing I want to do is the claws because those are the those are the closest thing to the viewer. So we'll start over here. So they're just really gnarly, gnarly black claws. What do the claws do to people, little man, when they when they slice into them? Huh? Yeah, they they lay an egg. So I kind of pushed myself into a corner with the hands all the way up against here, but it's part of the constraint of working on the smaller page. I can make it work. I think that's going to be the theme of this channel, how I make it work. Very Bob Ross, happy little accent. Or mean. Happy mean. Mean monster accidents. Good. 
Yeah, that's, that's kind of a clob blob mess. You know, I probably, I think he has a thumb too. This is what I get for skipping the Mommy. preliminary drawing to figure it out. Mommy. Well, let's, so let's look back, let's do the other claw a little bit better. Let's see. Start with the sort of a line. Again, I'm looking at the thick to thin. I get as much variation as I can. Let's see if I can add a knuckle. Maybe that'll. I think that's what's missing over here. Is it's just kind of like a round, sort of blob shape. The mouth. The mouth is up there. Okay. It's a little better. It's I think it's better with the more breakup of shapes from there. Although, ideally, I probably should have focused on those and maybe blew them up bigger. Maybe like that. Well, next time. Maybe we'll do a... Maybe we'll do a part two slot. Since Little Man likes the slot so much. I think multiple slot is slotty. Alright, so with that, we have both the class. So those are the things that are closest to frame. So now we can go ahead and move probably from this point all the way across. So let's go, let's go here and get a shoulder. Okay. So here I'm doing thick to thin separating forms. So like there's kind of a gap of negative space. And I'll do a similar thing over here. Coming down here. Yeah, you think they'll watch this one? I hope they watch it again and again. Hear that, everybody? Little man says you should watch this video again and again and again. Yeah, if you if you like and subscribe, then we can make more. You heard it. Out of my director over here. Please, because I don't think I can take the punishment from this director if you don't like and subscribe. He's already beating me up over my not so good slot drawing. You're right, directors are good drawers. Especially when they're little guys that. That already painted a red slot. He's an expert on red slots because he painted one. So here, here's a little trick where if you have like pointy bits or like long lines and you have a line that goes behind it, if you leave a little bit of a gap, then it, it helps read when it's in line work. It'll kind of get fixed when you color it in, but if, if you want a drawing that'll hold on its own with just line work, it's probably a good idea to leave those gaps. It, it's worked for me. It might not work all the time. It might it might be better to fill it in, or even fill in the whole thing black if it was a darker color, but since I'm, I'm planning on coloring it in anyway, so... Looks like it's working. All right, so I'm gonna go down here. So here I'm following kind of like a faux anatomy, where like this is a human, human leg, and then this would be the foot and then the toes. No. What? No, you did. You did fine with the legs. You can redraw them if you want. I think you can draw two of them within the same time daddy takes to draw one because you're such a faster such a faster artist speed painter over here okay 
Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of a hatching to describe the form. Coming down to the feet. Okay, so now we got the four and the three toes. So I'll start just like the main body, I'll start with the things closest. So the clawed toes. Do you think the claws like toe eggs in people? Little man? No, no, they just leave the same. I do not even know I do not. No. Oh, Little Miss has got her bowling set out. That'll pick up good audio. Hashtag dad life. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so there's one foot. Another foot. This one with only the three claws. And again, same thing. I want to work closest to the viewer. Back. I could probably vary the, the shapes of the claws better. Like, this one's a little bit fair. I could even vary them more. There's a lot of things in Dungeons & Dragons with claws, so I want to remember that for the next monster claw. Alright, so that, that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a picture of that, and then we'll color it in. Alright, so now let's color him in. So we got it pulled up. Same process as last time. Let's make a multiply layer. Oh wait, you're coloring them in on the Wait, yep. the one I Can I help you? Nope, Daddy's gonna do it. You can color in your guy. Alright, so he's red, so we're gonna wanna go to a bluish background. A technical pen. And let's go ahead and get a background color in there. Paintings that look good about the frame. Boop. Fill that in. Nice. Alright, so now we'll go to his color. So he will go a deeper red than we did the Sturge last time. And then we'll just color. So I did notice that I didn't draw a part of his arm here. So I can just kind of line it in there. Yep, same red you cut you painted your slot. For now we'll color the the claws are gonna turn probably a darker black. Daddy's daddy's gonna do this part. You can color afterward. Afterward, you can color all the slides you want. Can't forget his toenail claws. Thank you, bud. I mean, directors do say nice things. Directors do say nice... They say nice things now after they beat up my drawing to begin with. Still learning how to beat... I thought you were a pro. No, I'm not. I thought you were a pro. I'm not. What? Yep, I colored through it just a little bit to see what, what Daddy's going to do. Make them black. Yeah, I'll make those black later, but right now I'm just kind of outlining them because I'm just going to fill them with color. Yeah. You want to you wanna show everybody the slot you painted? Yeah, let me see. So this is the slot. Little man painted. See? I, I could use him as reference. Came out real nice. Thank you. Thank you, bud. All right. One eye is closed, and one eye has a patch on it. Mm. The other eye doesn't. Mm. It's a pirate's 
Pirate slot. Slotty pirates. Mm. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna do the different colors. So let's see. Alright, so now we gotta start figuring out the other colors. So I think we've got some darker reds around the eyes and around his body. So we'll do those first. So very sort of. So I'll vary the saturation and the hue just to apply a bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, bro. Okay. Well, I'm gonna focus here on the eyebrows because that'll highlight. That'll make the eyeballs pop when we color those in. Here, let me see. Let me see your slot. So you got under there, and then we gotta go under the black cloth. He's also got a lot of little green spots. Yeah. So these aren't shadows, these are just areas of the body that would be slightly darker in color. The shadows will come when I add the adjustment. I didn't want to okay, so the inside of the mouth will go a little darker. Um, <laughs> yeah, it goes like a little less saturated. Vary it up a bit. Let's see how that looks. Like Blackish red, my director tells me. Alright, now we'll add a teeth color. And now we'll add a teeth color. So we're gonna go for yellow eyes. Creepy eyes. Alright. And then we got the black claw. So I'm gonna go for a gray, a darker gray, and then that will give me a range to be able to add light and shadow. Well, no, don't want to be right across his face. You'll see when I add the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his claws are black. You also gotta add the little bit of green. Green sort of camo pattern. Draw back over them. Oh, draw black over them. Okay. Okay. So now the green. I got a decent. Oh, saturated green, brighter green. Mm. He's got these little patterns around him. Are they on his face at all? No, they're on his legs and his arms. We can use these to describe the form. I mean, and on his back and half the is on his body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we can't see his back, so I didn't draw his spikes. He has shoulder spikes. No, this Lottie does not have shoulder spikes. The next slot will add shoulder spikes. So for these, I'm just kind of coming up with shapes and I'm adding them into show form. I'm adding them into show form. Mm -hmm. Not on his feet? You know what? I think his feet would be that darker red that we had because they gather up all the dirt and stuff when he's walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. There you go. Alright, so now we'll add more adjustment layers. This time we'll add the green mask. So I made them all black so I could add the shadow and see, and see I'm adjusting the shadow now. And then we'll add a color adjustment layer. No, we're not going to add any blood to him. Not this time. I mean, see, see my hands? Mm-hmm. They're a little darker than the other ones. Alright. And now, we'll go in and add the shadow, or add the light. So for this one, I think I'm going to have the light come in from this direction. A little bit different than the last time. Maybe just like ah. Maybe. That's fine, they don't have to look like the picture. You can paint them however which way you want. That's part of the thrill of making your own guy. It's like, Daddy didn't draw this guy exactly like the picture. I mean, you did draw him exactly like the painting. It's a little bit like it. Oh, no, I'm not going to draw the base. Because these guys I haven't been drawing the base. Because these guys, I haven't been drawing the base. No, nope, I'm just not drawing the base. I mean, you should draw away standing on the base. Shouldn't you? Hmm, I'll we'll leave a little bit there. Please. We'll see. are still in the background, so it looks like Daddy didn't have. Well, 
Only me. All right, that looks pretty good for the first layer pass. I don't think I need to go in for the secondary light. I could add some to pull out there and there, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary for this one. So we'll just go ahead and we'll throw an adjustment layer on top. Thank you, bud. See, the director's much nicer now. So we'll add a red adjustment layer. Whoop, I'm gonna switch that to color. Mm -hmm. About there, and then we'll go back and adjust this one. Now he looks like he's very old. Old? Yeah, because he's getting gray. Alright, right there. We'll have to see the line work. He looks like he's got a red flag. Daddy's got a little bit of something going on over there. There we go. Um. I think so. Does he look done? How's he look? Yeah. No, I think I like the claws like that. All right, so we're all set there. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. What's that? <laughs> that's the that's the microphone.